Okay, y'all, I'm back with my 1941 Fender 66. It's a crinkle finish machine that I rewired about a month and a half ago, two months ago. And when I got the machine out to clean it up, it didn't have its needle plate or its slide plate on it, and it didn't have the screws that attached. So I bought new ones. And last week, I found this container that says Singer 66 Crinkle on it. And it actually had the originals and the screws. So today, I'm going to pop these remakes off and put the originals back on. I've already took the screws out. Um, I want to see if this slide plate fits better. If you can see it here, it, it's raised up a little bit, and I really didn't like that about the remake. So, we'll slide it out. And I want to put the slide plate. This is the Samanco slide plate that came on the machine. I just misplaced it. I could have saved me some money if I'd have found my container singer. Let's give that a good push. Now it'll push out this way, but it won't come up that way. You have to go to the right with it. It does look like it sits flusher, so I, I'm locking that. Put this needle plate on. And attach the screws. If some of you guys noticed on my 66, let me show you real quick. I don't know if you can see down in there or not. Um, let me move this closer. I don't have a felt down in here for my wig, so I've got to replace my felt. I don't know if you guys can see that spring down in there or not, but that's another project for another day. But I do like to have the original parts when I can have them and get them on here as far as this needle plate and slide plate. So. I thought I'd show you that real quick. Um, I like to hand start my screws, as you can see. Hand start them. Just makes it easier and you don't have to worry about stripping your screw threads. Get these on here real quick and I'll get the foot back on. And That'll be it for getting these original pieces back on the machine. I'm glad I found them. Now I've got some extra aftermarket 66 needle plate and slide plate that I can have for another project. We'll get the foot on there. I need a different screwdriver for this, but I'm not going to reach down the door for it right now. <laughs> I'm going to make this work. Why do we do that? We'll have the right tool for something and we'll pick up something else and we'll go, no, we're going to make this work. I think it's just human nature. We like to see what we can do, but be careful when you do this. You don't want to strip the top of your screw. Do as I say, not as I do, right people? <laughs> anyway, I'll get my long Singer screwdriver out. Oh, this one might work. I won't have to go digging. We'll get this taken care of. Actually, these screws feel a lot better than the aftermarket ones I bought. All right. So, I'm happy with that. I'm real happy with that. I'm super, super glad that I found the original slide plate and needle plate and got them on. And it really does fit better. There's something to be said for the original parts. Put my foot back on. This is the original foot. Um, when I got this machine, there weren't any attachments with it, but it does have its original foot, which 
I'm glad that it has. Um, my low shank attachments from my Singer 221 will fit this machine as well, so I'm not without attachments. I'm trying to stay out of the camera angle while I put this back on. My fingers aren't wanting to work today. There we go. I just need to move the foot up a little bit. All right. Well, this is my Singer 66 with, with its original slide plate and needle plate on. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a blessed evening. I'll talk to you later.